Hi, my name is Edmund, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining why you should consider Devless for your next business idea. Devless is a software that empowers um, individuals to transform their business ideas into an actual solution, be it an MVP, a prototype, or your actual product. Now, in this video, we wouldn't be doing much. I would be explaining to you some of the concepts within Devless and how to build a simple contact us page using Devless, just to introduce you to the concepts and how things work within the Devless framework. Now, uh, let's just jump right in. This is the dash, the Devless dashboard itself. But do not concern yourself so much um, about how to set up a Devless instance right now, as I'll be walking you through in subsequent tutorials. Now, what we are trying to achieve here, it's uh, a clean simple contact acts page like this one here that I have on my personal page well to do this um, first of all I need to create a service on Devless now service is basically it's a fancy term um, for 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 representing features in an application um, for example if you are building an e-commerce app uh, you can view your cards as a service you could view your emailing um, your emailing part of your app as a service as well so in the case of the contact us page, I'll create a simple service for that. Uh, take this one now. And I can leave the, def the remaining fields as default as I do not need to connect my service to an external database. And although that Devless allows you to do that, Devless allows you to use multiple databases within your same application. We don't need that now. So I'll go ahead and then create my service. Now, once your service is created, the next step you take is um, create a table. So in my case, I'll create a table to hold the details and I'll need a field to hold the name of uh, people trying to contact us. The next field I'll like to add is an email field. And the cool thing about Devless is once I select, uh, say, an email type, automatically applies validation once people start inputting in their, their values and I don't have to write extra code for that. The last field I'd like to add is the message field and I'll select text area for a much larger field type and then go ahead and create my table. Good, so once my table is created, um, one last step I'll have to take and then I'll be done working on stuff as far as backend is concerned is to click on connect to my app copy the script tag and then now I can paste it in to my front end page. Now this is a simple index page I've created that I'm going to be using for my contact us page. It's going to be a very simple contact us page. So I'll go ahead and do like uh, and the next step is for me to create a form within which I'll collect my values. Now watch this step carefully now the way Devless works is you get to, instead of specifying, okay, instead of writing a chunk of JavaScript to direct where your data goes into the backend, all you have to do is add a directive. And in the case of adding details to the Devless backend, all I have to do is start with the prefix DV and then write out the directive, add one, two, and then now I provide the service name that's contact, contact us and then colon, and then I attach the table name as details. Good. Now once this is done, I can now begin adding my input field. Say input type text, and the name of this will take the name of the person who is providing this lava video. So and then add a placeholder, please enter here. Add a quick break. Duplicate this field. Sorry. All right. I duplicate this field and then change this to what do we have? Email, right? So you all you have to do is make sure the names correspond to the fields you created within your database. And then you go ahead and say enter email here. And then enter message for our message is going to be a text area so I did not need to duplicate this let's create a quick text area box and then add a name message and that was it now we add a button for submission 
type submit. Now I'm pretty much done, but one last thing I would like to add is um, a notification directive so that developers can tell me what's happening within my form, whether this form was submitted successfully. So any message from the devless backend would come in here. Well, actually, I could throw in another notifier type, which is success, which allows me to customize the message that is shown to my users once this is successful. So I could go like, uh, thanks for reaching out. Okay. So with just HTML, I should be able to gather information from my page. Now this is a very basic one. Um, let me see if did I miss anything here. DV notify success. Okay. Success. Okay. All right. So I'll go ahead and then fill this out. Um, I think go like Edmond. And then my message here go ahead and submit this message and as you can see once our message hits the back end that's devless um, the message this message here is the one from devless itself and this is the custom one I want to show my users as well I could go ahead and then take out the DV notify and all my users will see is the thanks for reaching us now let's see where this data is within our devless backend so I'll head over to data tables I'll select the contact as service and then the details table and here you see the user details are being stored here. So really I didn't have to write that much code. It's just HTML basically to be able to collect details from my from my device, um, from my front end page. So I could create a simple landing page and very nice simple landing page. And all I have to do is write just a little bit of, um, of HTML to be able to collect the details, user sign up details from my page. Well, there are many more things um, devless can do all the way to being able to write rules and sending out emails and the whole bunch that I'll be covering in subsequent tutorials. Well, hopefully I've been able to convince you to consider devless in your next business idea. If you are interested, please follow up with uh, subsequent tutorials. Thank you.